When Professor Boyd Swinburne, my co-chair, and I began work on this, we didn't want another series of Lancet articles on obesity. There had already been two series. But we recognized that malnutrition included obesity and undernutrition, and both were associated with climate change as a result of agricultural production. So we looked at the intersection of undernutrition, obesity, and climate change, and called this the global syndemic. A syndemic are two or more pandemics which interact in time and place and are driven by societal or economic factors. For example, meat production generates a lot of greenhouse gases, and greenhouse gases increase climate change and catastrophic weather events in the developing world, which impairs agricultural production and contributes to undernutrition. The scale of a global syndemic can feel overwhelming. In fact, malnutrition in all its forms is by far the biggest cause of ill health and premature death in the world and in every country. Meanwhile, climate change will increase undernutrition and further deteriorate the environment. The global syndemic is the paramount challenge for the 21st century for humans, the environment and the planet. The lack of government actions is what we call policy inertia, which is industry opposition to policies, government reluctance to implement policies, and a lack of public demand for those policies. However, the promise of the syndemic view of these problems is that there are double and triple duty solutions or actions which can affect all of these pandemics simultaneously. Our report provides a blueprint for how to transform those systems that are driving the global syndemic. For example, we need a $1 billion fund to support community activation to demand policy action. Currently, the $5 trillion of subsidies that go into fossil fuels and harmful agriculture need to be redirected towards sustainable agriculture and sustainable transport. Another positive strategy is changing the business plan from one focused on profit to one focused on sustainability. We don't pay the true costs of food, nor do we pay, pay the true cost of fossil fuels. We're calling for a framework convention on food systems, similar to the one on tobacco control, which reigned in the tobacco companies. We're also calling for a seven generations fund, taking the view from the Iroquois nation about thinking seven generations hence, to build traditional knowledge and traditional ways of trying to manage health and the environment together. We're not gonna turn this around without local and state and country involvement. Social movements start at the grassroots level, and changing the global syndemic will require that kind of a shift.